I'm here in the DCU Glass 7 campus, where students are getting ready to vote in the upcoming student union elections. I got the opportunity to sit down with Vita Maloney-Burke, the only presidential candidate this year. He told us why he thinks we should vote for him as our next president. Okay, so Vita, you've obviously decided to run for a student union president in DCU. What made you decide to do this? Um, kind of multitude of factors, really. Um, towards the end of last year, it started to dawn on me that through all my experience I've had in DCU, through like clubs and socks and the class rep, I kind of gained a lot of skills that would be required for such a role. Um, and I didn't mean straight away, but it was like it was the leadership, it was the organisation, um, it was kind of understanding the bread and butter of DCU. Um, I kind of had worked with a lot of students in a lot of different circles and I lived on campus for two years anyway. So I kind of understood how the campus worked from a grassroots level. Um, and then through the likes of my work with the SLC, I was quite fortunate to work with kind of senior staff members of the university as well. Uh, so across the board, I kind of had the experience, I thought, to do something like this, but way more than the experience, it was I had the passion. Uh, DCU literally changed my life when I came here. Um, like, not to be around the bush, I was quite an un uninspiring fella. Uh, I was happy to come to college, get a decent enough degree, go out with my mates and have a nice time, and that was it. Like, But as soon as I walked through the door, all of that changed. Um, working with some extraordinary people and having some extraordinary experiences that I never thought I would. Um, gave me a massive passion for the university and for the people in it. Uh, passion I didn't realise was in Simon um, until 2015 when I arrived. Um, and because of that, it's so cliche, and everyone's going to tell you this in their interviews this week, but I really just wanted to give back. Uh, I just have a burning desire inside me to give back, and nothing would make me happier than to be sitting up there this time next year, being able to help the student body develop and grow as individuals, uh, as, as I think I did. I want to help other people experience that. It's, it's a lovely feeling. So you're saying um, you want to help other people experience that, and inclusion is a massive part of your mm. manifesto. So how are you planning to ensure inclusion across all three campuses and then on each individual campus? Yeah, of course. So with inclusion and engagement, stop number one is, is the student centre next year. It's absolutely massive, and it's going to be the biggest year for student engagement in memory, and that's a fact. Uh, that centre has so much potential, uh, but as president, I also have to utilise that potential. I was I was one of the few students left in the college, really, that experienced what it was like in my first year. We still had the venue, and I still have that inside me, and it's probably actually the reason I'm running for president right now. Um, but second, uh, the current first and second years, there's some gems amongst them, some fantastic individuals. Um, but there is a drop off in the engagement there and that's because they don't quite know what it's like or they haven't been given the access that we were given so they're going to be the wonderland next year um so first year students will be easy to engage the final year students will be easy to engage but it's those who've never experienced which will be really hard so we'll have to do our most to have events on there every night of the week every every week of the year um and of course we have to as you as you said folks on our other campuses as well i, I know pat's students they still there's still something not quite connected in there um with the students union with the student paths across the board uh so i think it's just constant liaise with them um we i and the students union as, as a whole shouldn't go to paths and try and throw our events onto them if you know what i mean um it, it's it's more about asking asking what we can do and that's what I've been doing throughout the week and in terms of our, our third camp, campus all hallows um, lovely lovely campus I've been there recently, a lot recently putting up posters are talking to people are filming for videos huge open space and all hallows involved went really well this year a lot of people really enjoyed it um, I'm not going to have a lecture stand on if I try and do that again next year with the new student centre like money, like talking money just doesn't make sense now that we have that um, but can still really use the space, and that's why with, with the carnival, that's that's a really big thing I want to do. Um, and of course, to talk about all these big glitzy glam events, that's that is a big part of student engagement, and it's it's fantastic for so many students. But there's so much more to student engagement, and I really do acknowledge that. And I suppose it's it's the side I've seen quite a lot as well. Uh, it's on the ground. It's the different cohorts in DCU. These different cohorts in DCU make up the fabric and make it such a fantastic place, which is kind of bringing my diversity point, my manifesto into it. Um, so it's doing a lot more to bring all these groups to, together because it's such they're such fantastic people. Um, I know I mentioned the manifesto about the international students and the isolation. I think that's a big, big problem. And um, you've got the likes of the Interfaith Centre right next door to the Newbury, right? 
any single day of the year, you'll find hundred, well, hundred odd students, fifty odd students in the trade centre, hundred odd students in Newburgh. On a daily basis, these students will never cross paths, and they're both extraordinary in their own rights. So it's, I think it's, it's from day one, orientation week, week zero, is getting these students mingling, and I do plan on introducing um, more events that kind of way orientated. Um, and I won't, sorry, I've been going on and on and on with this, so I won't give you every single detail, but I do just plan on doing a lot more to bring every kind of different community in DCU together to be one big community and experience a lot more and meet a lot more people as a result of it. Very good. And another part of your manifesto is um, free practice tests being rolled out for students. Yeah. So why do you think this is important in DCU? Well, from a welfare perspective, um, the, the team have been doing a really good job this year. Podge has been doing a really good job this year. And with the two people running for welfare this year, in this election, I'm absolutely sure it'll be another fantastic year ahead. Uh, but there can always be more done. Um, Last year, Cody did a great job um, with really pushing uh, free STI checks. Um, Podge has done a really good job of increasing access to free STI checks. So students need this array of information um, about their own sexual health, and that's that's there. We can always push it more. So now that we've had the success with the STI checks, we we have the free condoms and everything like that up in the SU. Uh, it's it's time once again to push it further and. Free pregnancy set tests uh, have been successful in other students' unions, um, so there's no reason why it can't be successful here. Um, I've been asked a lot of questions about the likes of the pregnancy tests and the crisis pregnancy information packs from Manifesto, uh, the drug information packs, and they, there's a need for all of them. Um, I think there's a general acceptance for that, so I think there's no reason now for us not to go ahead with that, push that, and actually make it happen. Um, and really kind of raise the bar for our students' welfare across the board. In other years we've seen four or five candidates mm -hmm. run for your station and this year you're the only one. So why do you think that you're the only one who went forward for it? Oh, I, th I think there's a lot of factors really. Um, the main one being the bill on campus, which I've already mentioned. Uh, not to be severe, but that bill has been a bit of a plague in DCU um, over the last couple of years. And the SU teams up there, the sabbatical teams that have seen us through them, have done their utmost to combat it, but it's just so hard. On a weekly basis, you're seeing society events being pulled, left, right and centre. Events aren't happening, students can't get engaged when there's nothing there to engage them. Um, the SU itself this year is around the new bar, up a little staircase, through an emergency exit. Like, people, half the students probably don't even know where it is. So it's just about visibility. Um, I think that's one of the big reasons. Um, they pushed it, and I think they're all baffled as to why I am the only one running. I am completely baffled. And I've, I've thought about this for quite a long time, to be honest with you. And all the scenarios I ever imagined, never once would it be me sitting here, not alongside five other candidates. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I'm not entirely sure why. Um, there's probably a lot of reasons. Um, I, I know a big goal for myself next year would be to ensure that there would be five people sitting here. And I think I would have the advantage that Niall may not have, uh, which is just being the pure chance that I was there for the right year. Um, again, I would like to stress that it's, it's, I don't think it's like they've they've done a great job of being visible this year. I, that's that's what's really dumbfounded me. Um, it's, there's two or three of them that are always there on the ground, really pushing things, but everyone's baffled, and it's not just my position as well. It's mm -hmm. no idea, to be honest. <laughs> very well, thanks for the detail. No nice problem. With the campaign. Thank you very much. So there you have it, that was Vita Maloney-Burke, our only presidential candidate this year. I'm Megan Conway of DCU TV News. Remember to keep up with all the election coverage across all our platforms over the next few days.